my job this evening, uh, this morning, <laughs> is being made easier by the chairman of DCC Pinampang because he has already made his speech, so I don't have to talk very long. Tapi sebelum itu, <clears throat> I'd like to congratulate DCC Pinampang for organizing. I think this is the first time, first time uh, that we had such social gathering. That is congratulations to the committee. The meeting. Um, I'd like to welcome Tan Sri Sun Jipang, our advisor, um, who has always been following our activities over the years. Uh, my good friend, Datu Dr. Ipin Benaik, uh, the former president of PPKS, and Tapi uh, Nai we have made progress over the years. Over the years, um, starting with a small number of pensioners. Now, our membership stand at about three thousand seven hundred and forty. I think three seven four zero. Yeah, so it's quite a large number uh, of pensioners in the association now. Um, the total number of pensioners throughout Sabah is about fifty-two thousand. Yeah, fifty-two thousand. That is 3,730, not even 10%. Yeah? So we still have a lot of work to do. Um, <laughs> um, so it's a, we still have a long way to go. That is, compared to Sarawak, Sarawak, there are pensioners throughout Sarawak, 65,000. But members of the association, Sarawak, Persatuan Pesara Sarawak, Sarawak stands at 7,005. Yeah, 7,005. And then, um, we are lucky in Sabah because we do have the support of the government. We receive 50,000 every year to manage the association. And I am happy to announce that recently we received another 100,000, a special grant yeah, from the state government. Yeah. This special grant other condition lah. It is to be used for the purchase of number one computer, complete computer laptop, so that all the at the moment we have got seventeen DCC throughout Sabah, yeah, seventeen to Jublas, yeah. That if we want to equip all our DCC with laptop computer so that there will be easier communication. Memang sekarang easy lah. You got your smartphone and so on. This gathering this morning was actually I got reminders and also messages through the smartphone and WhatsApp and so on. Jadi, um, we want to be further strengthen that communication network by having all our DCC laptop. Um, we have to supply the laptop to all the 17. That is what the 100,000 for. Secondly, it is also for the purchase of medical equipment. I know this is Pilampang busy. They have got the program check BP la, check um, um, apani, diabetes and, and blood sugar and so on almost every week I think uh, JJ. so um, we will supply them with the equipment and also the, the, the um, apani, additional slip that they require for example to check the blood and sugar yeah? so that is being catered for by this 100,000 that we have yeah? <coughs> actually we plan to have a, a big seminar um, at the end of this year, I think about 20, at the end of next month, in, to, to discuss about a um, program under the national health policy. Yeah? This, this national health policy <coughs> is a federal policy, but extended to Sabah and Sarawak. Um, it it set up in each state. A state called Sabah State lah. Sebelum lagi, before that, there was still Sabah and Sarawak. Um, each state, there is a seven seven committees has been set up to implement the policy. The policy is number one to draw up program for the elderly. Elderly is people like us lah. Yeah, elderly, <coughs> and then set up 
to look into the facilities, to look into many, many things under the seventh committee. This was, this committee was introduced 24 years ago, 24 years ago. Tapi apart from the health department, mungkin uh, because it is their job um, to look after um, their patients who are all elderly, the other six committee doesn't seem to function. Jadi, uh, sometime this morning, I'll be meeting the member of the press. I'll be talking about this in addition to the 100,000. Of course, when someone gives you money, you have to say thank you. Yeah? Yeah, it is proper. Yeah? It's a matter of courtesy. Um, but um, I'll, this, this um, national health policy is a very comprehensive policy. And it also set up fund under the federal government. But unfortunately, those people who have been assigned to look after all the seven committee never apply for the fund. Yeah? Now, I just recently attested how, how far this, this national policy on health has been implemented. And therefore, um, Tansi Simon said, Sipan and myself at one time sat down in the office and did some brainstorming. And we discussed about um, this policy on health. And we even adopted a team. Health is wealth. Yeah? Health is wealth. That is our team, the slogan. And we adopted that for implementation using the team as our uh, slogan. Yeah? But we, unfortunately, when I forward the proposal to the Ministry of Health through the health depart department in here, they can't even give me 10,000 ringgit because they said, they don't have the money. And of course, I very kindly pointed out to them that there is that special committee under the Ministry of Health and you should have drawn up your program and apply for the money. So it looks like they have got a message and we will, we have to postpone our, our seminar in Kundasam in November and then perhaps we will do the program on health. Uh, next year. Yeah. Next year, therefore, our PPK slogan will be Health is well. We have to concentrate on the health of the senior citizen, including the pensioners. Okay? I have spoken about this before, and um, I will repeat. Uh, yeah. In November last year, um, we have, uh, we have submitted a joint memorandum um, with our Sarawak counterpart, 23rd of November, I think, yeah, last year. Um, because um, we received a lot of feedbacks that um, people are get, going through a very tough time. And they particularly mention about this increment of 2%, yeah, 2% every year. For where, for meaning for every 100 ringgit, 100 ringgit of your pension, you only get $2 yeah, increase. For every 1,020 ringgit, the, this 2% over time is almost 11 now, so, um, once again, I think it is not, this morning is not meant for long speeches, okay? I don't want to make speech. It is only comment, comment, and an ongoing thing, and just to update you uh, what is happening in BPKS for yeah? Uh, we now we now have 17 DCC throughout Sabah, yeah? 17, 17. The last one I just um, launched was about Three weeks back, Beluran, yeah, Beluran, Beluran, and Kuna. Um, sorry, Kuna, Kuna. The last one was Kuna. So, yang ke tujuh belas is Kuna. So we, that that is good enough already because it, it covers the whole of Sabah already. We have got DCC in Tedum, we have got DCC in Kuna, we have got DCC in Telupit, not to mention the bigger town, yeah. So, and we also. Um, we also um, have AGM when we feel that 
chairman of each DCC macam dia dah begitu aktif juga we encourage him we encourage the person to try and and help and introduce new people in so that's what we did uh, we're going to do that in Tambunan we're going to do that in Keningau soon tapi we did that in Kota Blun um, a week ago uh, where we got a new set of um, committee members um, going back to this computer that we're going to we're going to purchase for all the DCC we have we have we have sort of graded the DCC yeah I think Pinampang under grade A. Grade A. Simply because <laughs> simply because you you have done a lot of work and membership is very strong and also your program is good. So you come under grade A. So you qualify for the laptop. Tapi ada juga yang karena karena grade D itu terpaksa lah dia he will say okay. How come Pinampang of Tuaran Tuaran those under grade A by the way is some um, Tawau Sendakan, Tuaran, Pinampang, satu lagi temen. Ranau, ya. Yeah. This are all the great way, the, the class satu punya orang lah semua ini, ini pension di sini. Yang ada activities, ada program, kadang-kadang ada ada bangunan sendiri. For example, Sendakan has got their own bangunan, uh, bangunan pesara. Yeah. Jadi, that qualify them for the laptop that they're going to distribute. The others will just have to work hard to qualify for it. We have got one year to spend the 100,000. Rajan bilang, you spend the 100,000. If you cannot spend it, give it back to us. Sorry lah. Kalau sudah masuk kita punya account, we'll think about other way to do it. Jadi, um, that is why we graded uh, the, the pensioners into that four categories, I think. A, B, C, D. Yeah. Ada sebenarnya pergi D juga. Tidak, tidak ada activities. But it, we, the reason why we do this is because we want to provide incentive for the DCC so that they'll be able to arrange the program and then that, that, that they, will, they will be rewarded, okay? Jadi, sekali lagi, I, I like to thank um, DCC Pinampang. Uh, I don't want to talk too much because DCC Pinampang is also represented in the full council. There are three of you in the council. I think um, JJ, Madam Curin, and Stephen, Stephen Sipang. They're all sitting in the council, so they are well informed of what is going on. Happy, not now. Okay. So, sekali lagi, I I like to thank uh, DCC Pinampang for organizing this event this morning. I already had one invitation, similar event going to be organized by Tuaran on the 12th of November. Jadi ada juga orang ikut ikut saya sekarang ni JJ. Yeah. Okay. So. With that, thank you very much and have a nice day.